before I put the rear, start putting this all back together, I need to check if this right here is leaking. I want it to leak here, but not inside the case. It's gonna leak right here. If it leaks right here, then I need to replace it. So this is the part number. It is 863-4400. That's the part number. And that's what it looks like right there. Okay, let me get some transmission fluid. All right, I'm gonna put it right here. See if it's gonna leak. You don't need to, you don't need a lot. Just need a couple of drips. Okay, that should be good. And it's leaking on the inside of here. Let's see if it's leaking here. And it's good. There's no leaking, so that's good. I'm going ahead and add the new seals on here. The little one goes in here. Right in here. This one goes right here. You may have to stretch a little, a little. And the big one goes right here. Add you some assembly lube. It's blue. And there you go. Now fit this back in your transmission. I'm gonna put some more on the bottom, right around that lip. And on the other side. All right, this tab goes in that little tab right here, right there. So let me go ahead and angle the camera. Make sure that tab goes inside there. Once you got it put in, start banging it a little with, with this thing. Bang it on both sides until it fully seats. 
Go ahead and get your spring and dip it in some transmission fluid. And put it right here and then twist it to make sure it's not uh, gripping on anything. And then go ahead and verify it. All right, get you a press. And press that spring cage down. Make sure it's on there. All right, I got the spring and the snap ring in. I had to do it off camera because I was I was getting mad because I couldn't get that snap ring on. But you have to use use one of these to get that spring to press down so you can put that snap ring on. But let's go ahead and um, do step two. Since you already got that, go ahead and put a bearing, a bearing. This thing only goes one way. This is the bearing right here. You put this down inside the case, just like that. Because this thing rides on it like this. Only goes one way. You, If you do it like this, it will not fit. It will not fit at all. So do it like this. Put this side down right here. Right in the case, I'm gonna put some oil right here and probably put some oil around in here. All right, set it in the case. And it should spin very easily. All right, got that part done. All right, go ahead and make sure this is good right here. Make sure it doesn't go up and, uh, side to side. And uh, the bearing, it goes like this, the bearing right here it goes just like that it goes only one way and go ahead and let me put some oil on it okay and it goes one way that goes right there all right let me make sure though some oils on this. I'm listening for any chatter. Oh, that's good. Yep, that's good. Go ahead and put you some oil on the gears. Go ahead and put it in. And it should just and it should spin freely just like that all right the next thing to go um to be put in is the wavy plate this is the wavy plate right here okay this needs to go this way and straight down to the six o'clock position. Just like, just like that. All right. I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add a, a plate, a metal plate. Now remember six o'clock position. Now add a steel, I mean uh, friction.
add a steel. Friction. Steel. Friction. Steel. My goodness. Friction. And steel. My goodness. Okay, the last one, it'd be a friction. All right, put this in the five o'clock position right here. And take this right here, look for the notch right here, and it goes right here. Let me grease this up a little. So it's a bit better. Sometimes I wish I can do this with the camera going on, but I had to stop it because it wasn't going in. But all I did is just lined it up and made sure that uh, clunk pin is moved over this side and then drop it in. When you got it dropped in, you push down on it and you will hear a clunk, like clunk. And then you spin this when you hear that click, push it down. And you got that all done. Now, time for the, the, uh, I forget what this is called. It is a snap ring. Okay, take your snap ring. It needs to be right, right here. If you put it, if you put the opening, in between here, in between here, that's good. But if you have the opening anywhere else, you're gonna mess up your transmission. So let me go ahead and put the snap ring in. Okay, get you a screwdriver. Okay, when you're done, it should the snap ring should be right there, exactly right there in that position. If not, if you haven't put it over here, it's gonna seize your transmission, so don't do that. So right there it needs to be.